What is happiness? Happiness comes in many shapes and sizes. And it might be something different for you than it is for us. But I think spending time with loved ones is something that we can all agree on. For us, experiencing is also a big part of creating a happy life. In the past months, we have been experiencing a whole bunch of new things. And with experience and adventures, you cannot avoid learning a lot of new things. About yourself, about life, and about people. And about what to do and what not to do. And with this said, we believe that true happiness evolves when we feel ourselves becoming better and stronger as a human being. Reflecting on our actions to improve and grow every day. Okay, so <laughs> currently we are on a campsite a bit north from, from uh, Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Yeah, um, it's a really nice place with forest. And yeah, it's a great place. It's really beautiful. Yeah. And it has a lot more forests than uh, other places in Iceland. And the south coast. Yeah. South coast is also beautiful, but this is... We love forests. But we are here because we are going home to Denmark. Uh, yeah, home. Home. Yeah. We, we are, are going, going to Denmark. Denmark. Um, because we are going to pick up our next big project. Our next big project, yeah. Yeah, the big element, the, the main element in the big, in the, the new. The main element in our next adventure. So we woke up this morning and it was rainy, it was beautiful. We heard all the birds singing and all this. And now we are on the way to the hotel near Kefrevik Airport so we can take the flight. But first we need to go and get some tapas because that is becoming a tradition when we're leaving Iceland to go to Denmark. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And now we're at the hotel and the thing is now is just relaxing. So we will eat tapas later and... So now the time is 4 a.m. and we are going to the airport. And we're back to the car, and the car is full with things. <laughs> yeah, it's actually 4 a.m. in the morning, as Eddie said, and <laughs> yeah, it's still bright outside, but that's the time of the year in Arctic, and when we come back to Denmark, we will get normal day hours, so I'm looking forward to that. I am not the person that has problem with this kind of light. There's a lot of people that, that don't can sleep and all this, and... Yeah, I, I see why, but it's okay now. It's a little bit light. It's the camera is on f 1.8, so it's light. It's fine. So hi, I, can I get the two number seven and uh, and one one of them with the cashew butter instead of peanut butter? Mango. So you are out of mango. Elidia, uh, can you put blueberry instead or something? Yeah. And uh, in bowl. what? In bowl. In bowl, yeah. And uh, two uh, Americano coffees. So this is the superfood. It's really, really delicious. It's a good morning. It's also a routine we have here when we taking the flight. This is the best way to start your morning. It's such a good combo. Delicious cup of things. Healthiness. <laughs> yeah. Stjort ungen slat. This is my childhood. Let me translate it for you. In English, we will call it Shield Kids Land. And this house, my grandfather and grandma built this house with the money from the restaurant they built it to let the house go in the family for several of years. And that bridge here, me and my grandpa, we fish it so much. When I was a little kid, we fish hornfish, cod, and a lot of other fish. 
and we had so many memories with ice creams, fishing, and just walking the forest in that area. And I will never be without it. And you also probably have a place from your childhood you will really love for, and I have a new love for this place. I can really see it now after I come back to Denmark after being in Iceland in some months. So this is my childhood. Today we arrived in Denmark and it's really great to be back because everything is just blooming now. It's spring in Denmark and it's just, wow, look at how green it is. Amazing weather and it's just such a contrast to Iceland. Like really, it's a contrast. Like Everything is becoming green in Iceland, but there's not the same amount of plants and trees and flowers and everything is just more colorful and blooming here and I feel a whole another kind of life like it, it's such a different energy and it's just great to be break I appreciate it so much more than yeah than what I've done before like I've not appreciated it this much because I've just been used to it but now I'm back and I see it with new eyes and it's great but tomorrow we are gonna pick up our next little thing for our new adventure and it's really exciting and we are really much looking forward to that. So now we will pick up the main element in the new project. So, But first we will go to a company called Fly Cases to buy a waterproof case for all the camera gear and all the electronic stuff because this new project is about exposing ourselves to the elements all the time. And we need a proper case for that. I have a pillowcase case back there, but the plan is to find a photo insert for that case. So uh, what have you got? I have a Pili Air from Flight Case, but they are changing name and they don't know what to what. So we will see. But for now it's Flight Cases. It's an international company that are selling Pili Cases. And we, uh, but one of these PLRs and the old one is in there. So we have this PLR with photo foam, so it's protected for all the season. Yes, yeah, so the plan is to take the ferry in November to Ferry Iceland and drive all the way to Denmark and from Denmark to Norcap and drive through Europa and to England. And in November? Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah. yeah, because there is, there is a ferry, yeah. Yeah, so are you excited for the bikes? So excited. <laughs> the purple one and the forest green one. No, we cannot tell what the oh, colors yeah, yeah. is this yet. Oh yeah, the purple, this is forest green, but we can't see them right now. No, so... so excited to unpack them in Iceland. Yes. So the car is fully stacked. My grandma's car is filled up with Omeo bikes now. And we cannot wait to come back to Iceland to pack them up, to drive on them, to do all these things. So it's, yeah, I'm sitting here with the front tire for me or maybe Ellie's bike, I don't know. And yeah, it's crazy. And I took some picture on the film camera with the, after lady at of the lady, of the lady um, packing the bikes up and all this, so it's really beautiful uh, to get these cinematic shots and to be able to do this, we're really grateful to be able to drive on these bikes and do all this because, yeah, it's the passion to be outside and be, be exposed to the elements and we have the pillowcase case down here, so all the gear is protected and yeah, it's fantastic. Everything is aligned right now and it will be in the future, so we're really, really grateful for that. So, yeah, the plan is for the rest of the day to enjoy some time with some family and with the dog in our lives. And, yeah, hopefully Aina will um, 
will say hi to us this time. He was a little bit angry at us last time. We'll only, yeah, put the back. How will you say it, Ellie? Yeah, he turned his back on us because we basically just left him. I think he felt that way. Yeah. And <laughs> we just feel bad about it, and we hope that he is more happy this time. So we bought some dog jerky for him. <laughs> and he likes dogs. He he's a yeah a, a hunting dog and. Yeah. So he likes to hunt and he likes dogs. This is my childhood forest. I have been here so many times with my family, walking and biking around on this very path and through the forest. I've been feeding the ducks by the shore and just enjoying nature with my family and my friends. I have so many memories from here. And having been away for a while just makes it so much better being back. Iceland is great and it's really different from this. But trees and forest has a special place in my heart. And I appreciate it so much more now that I have been away from it. This place is also where me and Lucas had one of our first true adventures. Canoeing on this very stream for two days last summer. I feel so grateful about this place. Okay, so we are we back are in Iceland. We are in Grindavik now, and we are preparing some food. We just arrived this evening, so we're just gonna have some dinner. Yeah, we can put it here. Yeah. You can talk. <laughs> so we have bought some stuff for making tortillas, just like vegan tortillas with, with chickpeas with and chickpeas and just some basic salad, tomatoes, avocado. Yeah. And that's what we're gonna go for and then we're gonna drive all the way to Beek. Yeah. Uh, it'll be like maybe a three hour drive, but uh, we yeah. have a long way ahead of us. So we're just gonna yeah. like, get so much as we can. Yeah, and the bikes and the car is full, stocked and ready. So we will eat some food now and yeah. See you in the morning. This is the most southern part of Iceland, the city called Vík i Mjadal. This city is actually used in a Netflix series called Katla, like the volcano, and it is based on an Icelandic folk tale about people arising from the ashes. We stayed at this campsite for the night. Vík has the most beautiful black sand beach, and the waves can be small and silent like this, but they can also be crazy high and dangerous. Iceland is a country of constant change. Change in the water, constantly changing weather. And the landscape is different all around the island. And even the country itself is changing every second. When the tectonic plates are moving, Iceland is growing bigger and bigger.
like in April, we had the most amazing experience riding on Icelandic horses on this very beach. And not long ago, we were ziplining in the backyard of Vik, experiencing Iceland from new perspectives. It can be hard to grasp that the island is growing bigger and bigger. But to give you an example of measured change, this is the glacier called Vatnajökull. It once took up 15% of the space in Iceland. Now, in 2023, it's only 8%. But it is still the biggest glacier in Europe. What I want to tell you is that the only constant in this world is change. Every day is different from other days. And you wake up as a new person every day, constantly growing with all the small experiences in life. All the black stripes you can see in the eyes is layers of ashes from former volcanic eruptions. So the glaciers in Iceland is actually a creation of ice and fire melting together. This is the essence of Iceland. Land of ice and fire. And just in the four months that we have been here in Iceland, a lot of things has changed for us. The city we lived in changed people around us changed, and our plans have changed many times, and we have changed personality-wise. This is just to tell you that change is not bad. Change is actually a really good thing and can be used to your advantage if you learn to listen to yourself and dare to change your plans rather than sticking to something that doesn't make you happy. You will grow a lot more and change a lot more into the better. A lot of people think that Iceland only has one black sand beach, the one I showed you in Vík. Beaches in Iceland is actually black, and it is more rare to see a white beach here. Iceland is created by volcanic eruptions, and therefore almost all the soil and sand in Iceland is colored by black lava ashes. beautiful ice sculptures you will find in Yukul Salon Glacier Lagoon in the east. We spend a whole day here just in awe of how beautiful it is. But now I will give you some time to make up your own opinion of this place. Diamond Beach. We have arrived here at the Diamond Beach. 
probably can't see all the diamonds, but uh, are they are the there, and we're gonna explore them and get some nice shots. So, so I need some lunch first. Oh, There's yes. some taco beans with not <laughs> with the uh, an avocado that's not um, finished, done. <laughs> it's not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, and some tomatoes and. Yeah, just good gains in a pancake. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We are so fascinated by the mountains. Being such a big formation, they can really make you contemplate on how small you are. But we do all see the world differently. And maybe the mountains make you think of something else. Or maybe nothing at all. But that's okay. Here you can see how the birds in Iceland is living and breeding on the side of the mountains. Mainly because there is no trees for them here. And to stay out of reach for predators. From misty mountains in the south, to us climbing the steep gravel road in the east. As I said, the landscape in Iceland is very different all around the island. But this amazing waterfall was a long steep climb we had to do. Waterfalls in Iceland is like the blood in our veins, pumping around, giving life to the earth. And the trees is like our lungs, making it possible to breathe. And just on the other side of the peak, there was a lot more trees than in the south. We had arrived in the biggest forest in Iceland. And this was the place we thought we were going to spend our summer. So the time is now a quarter past six and we've been driving since 9 a.m. this morning and we are beginning to be very tired of driving and we are both really happy with our decision of buying the bikes because now we know how it is to drive a long day inside a car and we just look really much forward to not be in a car all the day and instead be outside the car and feel the weather because in the car we just get like a warm climate and we just get tired, dry air from the air condition and uh, yeah. But except from that it's becoming summer in Iceland, it's really nice weather, the sun is shining and the sky is blue and there's almost no wind, like, there's no wind in Iceland. So it's great and we are almost in uh, Egestad, the next uh, city that we are gonna live in and... Hello, good morning, sunshine. So we are awake at the campsite nearby the hotel we will work at and live in and this forest is beautiful and we are really happy to sleep outside and all this and I'm also really happy for the new home we will have for the next months so and there are seas and a lot of beautiful trees and lupina what i see lupina i uh okay in denmark we will call them lupina but we will find out what the name is this camera here I changed my perspective and everything on photography it wakes up my creative souls i was burned out and all things should be perfect and I had all these pictures in my mind and all these ideas how my videos should work out when I moved here to Iceland and it's not how it is the weather and all this you cannot control something and you cannot control your creative mind so my mind is set up like this I see everything in images also when I never been here I can see the 
the places I will go to in images and that's give me a certain look on how the, the surroundings will look like and I have this idea in my mind and if it's not like that, I will be disappointed. That's why I started shooting film photography. That changed my perspective of photography a lot because you can take a roll of 35 pictures and I'm happy with 30 of them. Normally when I'm shooting digital, I'm, as I'm doing here, I'm happy with three of 5,000 and that's not good. It's a step back when we are selling the car and we bought these bikes from Omeo to drive around on these again. So I think this uh, step back, a step in the right direction. And I will just learn you that if something happens to you, just sit down, clear your mind, not leave your craft. If you're into photography, I think you should be there and just clear your mind, take photography in another way and go out and not have some expectations of what you think you will shoot and have all these images in your head like I have. Just go out and shoot and enjoy. I'm enjoying photography a lot now and I need to send the filter off, but Ellie, what are we up to? Yeah, well, we just uh, got our new little cottage. Yeah. And we're just gonna making it nice and ours. Yeah, we have I already think. the creator station down here. <laughs> so, but yeah, we are putting some sheets on and. Yeah, and in a minute we're gonna do the bikes. Yes, and they are right here, so. Jeg um, Jeg tror, at vi, uh, vi, vi lige uh, finder ud af, hvad vi gør. Det ser fint ud. Så skal jeg hjælpe dig lidt. Jeg lige, vi skal finde ud af fra. Perfekt. Okay. Har du skruer til min også? Ja, de skulle meget gerne lægge en papir. Ja? Okay, so the so, bikes are assembled yes. and ready for adventures. It's really beautiful. I have this Pili case in the front, a Pili Air 1535. It's a photographer version. So <laughs> open it. Yeah, I can open it, but. And I have the drone and the camera we have here and all the stuff. So this is the full content creator station. So we can make <laughs> some beautiful content for you and for ourselves. So yeah, and the plan is um, right now I have like a small duffel bag, but I, the plan is I'm going to have like our 100 liter duffel bag filled with 
equipment, cooking gear, food, stuff like that yeah. on my bike. So I'm going to make sure that we survive and Luke is going to make sure that we make some great content. <laughs> yes, so that's what it is. And We've already tried out the bikes. Of yeah. course, we're out here in the middle of a forest. So, yeah, so we drive on gravel roads and normal roads and, and here in the forest. The and bikes are great. Yeah, they, are they are driving so smoothly. Mm. Everything is just really, really good. They're, they're, they're driving, driving like, like hardtail mountain bikes and <laughs> I really like it. I had a gravel bike before, so and actually I like this more. So Yeah, but you know, we are fully packed and ready for adventures. Yeah. So for now, for the summer, we're going to train here in uh, Eastern Iceland. Yes. We're going to drive around in the, the forest of Halmstadur. Yes. And we have a lot of small hills, stuff like, yeah, good for training. And yeah. then... Yeah, and the small water patch, it's right yeah, here. and everything. But everything. It's when we beautiful. are done in Iceland, we are going to bike. Yeah. We're going to take the ferry to the Faroe Islands yes. and we're going to bike around the Faroe Islands. Yeah, and, and after that we will go through Denmark and celebrate Christmas with our families. Yes. Because we are from Denmark. And after that we will go where? When, when we reach January our yeah. plan is to bike all the way from Denmark to... Norcap. To Norcap. All the way up through Norway. Yeah. And end up at the simply point i always think you can call it like yeah with the globals and yeah it's it was a dream of mine before i met early actually and i my plan was to do it on this cargo bike with three wheels and have this cargo front and i found omeo and omeo was the perfect match and they drive better as i said on my gravel bike and I can do this adventure now and Elia is with me, so, so it's now we, perfect. We finally have the gear to make this yeah. adventure come true. So yeah. I'm just really happy that I can be a part of it. I'm also happy for you are a part of it. Yeah. So I will just say if you don't subscribe on all this yet, you can go out you can go in and subscribe and help us out as we will help you out with show you some places you can go to and show you a lot yeah, of... We definitely want to inspire you. That's our yeah. main goal here, just to share our story, our <coughs> adventure, and hopefully we'll inspire a lot of you guys out there yeah. to do the same and not the same, maybe not bike around, but follow your dream. That's yeah. like the... Because everything is possible and we'll really learn that if you really set your head up after something, everything is possible if you are willing to making this effort to do it and just going for it instead of... Basically, you can do what you want if yeah. you believe so. And now we've started started to believe in, so yeah. our dreams are just coming true like all the time. And it's That's great. Cool. So please start believing yeah. <laughs> in yourself and in the world because everything yes. is good and great. And yes. See you next time. In the next episode, we will climb a 1,006 meter high mountain with the bikes to start our adventure before it was planned.